are you CMYK and like an RGB justice? I'm trying to clean up, but it ain't as easy as it looks. This stuff's like steel wool. Trying to cut it off, and I already broke two razors. I'm trying. I'm trying. Pray for me. Pertaining to immigration and what had been reported regularly on a daily basis, tens of hundreds of thousands of, uh, of potential illegal immigrants coming across our borders on a daily basis, uh, day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out. And yet we haven't heard anything about this. And this would be the season of the, uh, the migrant worker. So there would be a, a great increase, like these caravans that was coming to the border, and all of a sudden they don't hear nothing no more. At a point when, well, they can't get us into refugee camps, but they do have us all on lockdown. That's not essential. And the essential, that is the democracy, is the ones that are actually operating. As we're in 2020, coming into election season, uh, it seems to me they did the similar thing back in the 70s with the OPEC, OPEC gas crisis, at which point the, the Cambodians and the boat people and the Cubans, they were moved into Pennsylvania and put in camps in upstate and integrated in and the bodegos actually began. And at that point in time, the supermarket in the neighborhood went away and the bodegos came in. And they were no longer owned by American people, but they were they were established and given to the immigrants coming in. Now they built this housing for these abused people, and all of a sudden we're all on lockdown and considered non-essential. And all our businesses and all our identities and everything is already annexed. It just seems to me a little, a little precarious. And uh, I would like to have this addressed in conversation, uh, as opposed to whether or not the, the, the President Trump has taken a medication that's already been approved for 35, 40 years. I mean, some things seem relevant to me and other things seem, uh, I think Trump has a handle on it, you know what I mean?